Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. What's well, good? It's been a while since I've done one of these types of challenges. Of course, I'm referring to the LR Goku team with the plus three key and attack increase of a flat rate of 3,000 to all types. So, really wanted to test this out on the uh, newest Dokkan event, which is, of course, the Extreme Agility Transforming Zamasu unit. And I'll go ahead and say that mistakes were definitely made on this run. I think this was about the third attempt uh, running this team and, and, you know, testing things out. But uh, overall, it was definitely fun. It, it switches things up a little bit, you know what I mean, and, and uh, provides a little bit of a, a different challenge. Um, of course, the biggest handicap you have with this team setup is not only the, uh, you know, attack and defense lackluster leader skill, but you really don't get an HP boost whatsoever. So uh, the team HP is very limited, as you can see. Uh, even with full HP, is 126,000. That's that's max HP status. So. You know, a couple of normal attacks will quickly drain it, and you could quickly, pretty much be KO'd, and that's that's it. Uh, that's actually what happened the first two times when I was testing, you know, kind of like the the patterns and overall flow of the uh, event itself. So, uh, of course, again, the units with the royal lineage uh, link skill will definitely provide the most damage. Fortunately for this uh, run, LR Trunks was in the first rotation, and he's got the type advantage. And uh, he does have that built-in crit, so he was able to provide uh, a one-shot avenue right there. So that definitely did save a lot, because in the other runs that I tested, um, the Intelligence Namatsu unit can definitely hit for a decent amount. Um, I, I can't remember exactly, but easily, you know, anywhere from like 20 to 30,000 with a normal attack. Of course, that is already equivalent of... You know, close to, I don't know, 20 to 30% just from a normal attack per attack, so that definitely makes things quite difficult. Uh, LR Goku, obviously, uh, is not going to hit that much. He's definitely a little bit obsolete at this point in the game, but hopefully at some point he does get improved. But <clears throat> not really one of those units I'm relying on. Um, it's more or less I needed the two Goku units for the uh, leader skill. That's, that's really all that was. Uh, of course, you know, it could certainly provide a decent amount against this type of enemy, which is uh, the agility of Zamasu unit, since uh, the unit does have type advantage. So we do have the uh, transformed um, Trunks unit, uh, not to the final state just as of yet. Uh, basically takes one full rotation uh, until you're able to uh, activate it. But right here, uh, things are a little bit uh, tricky because you do have quite a few attacks coming in. <clears throat> And uh, I did include Gogeta just because of the uh, countering ability. Um, I, I figured that would be beneficial to have. And uh, the Trunks unit does, you know, have like, you know, link skills that they share with, you know, Gogeta. So I figured it'd be okay. <coughs> but overall, I mean, I, I was a little bit on the fence about including Gogeta, but I, I figured, especially with the latter parts of the stages, against agility type uh, enemies, I, I figured it'd be probably a good idea to include it, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens, because I, I actually don't really remember um, exactly what happened step by step, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> <coughs> so that definitely did help, uh, however, we are getting some HP depletion happening, good thing I used, you know, items, because otherwise uh, we would have been KO'd here. But Definitely the, the the clutch units are LR Trunks, uh, both the EZA for the Rage Trunks and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. Um, of course, the Transforming Trunks is also pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and use another item. You know, of course we have to at this point. Um, HP is pretty much 15,000, so definitely not going to survive the uh, the turn right here. So uh, Snake Princess will uh, recover HP by 55%, also reduce damage by 30%. Uh, trying to really hold off on some of the better items uh, for the uh, last battle with the Merge Zamasu unit uh, since, you know, I, f I figure that unit would hit for a pretty decent amount even if you do have type advantage with tech units. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, slowly chipping away at this guy's HP. So the good thing about the Rage Trunks and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta units is the fact that they do provide a boost for every super attack performed on top of a passive skill providing both an attack defense increase of 40%. So I think the super attacks provided 30% additional uh, increase to attack as well. So that definitely does make quite a, quite a bit of a difference. <clears throat> uh, 
So just taking a quick look at the rotation, honestly I wanted uh, to put the uh, transforming trunks unit in the third slot uh, just so uh, could you know get them in the rotation with some of the other units that have royal lineage um, and and you know I pretty much did use the ghost usher item I uh, didn't really want to risk it at this point and I do want to make sure at least some of the units get a super attack however it's one of those situations where you know it's like I want to get trunks in the right rotation but I don't want to sacrifice other units from getting their super attacks, you know, so it's it's yeah, it's one of those double-edged swords. You really have that dilemma where you have to consider what to do. <clears throat> so, of course, in this case, I'm able to get the super attacks with every single unit except for Goku, so... Uh, you know, the Transforming Trunks unit does get a boost for every key collected, um, so, you know, that's one of those things that definitely does help a little bit. I mean, 30% per key collected, that, that is a pretty big amount, so, you know, definitely adds up, makes things a little bit easier. And let's see how Gogeta does here. About 274,000. I mean, it's better than nothing, but it really doesn't equate to much. Again, uh, you do have to have units in the same rotation linked up with Royal Lineage to really get that benefit of the um, uh, damage boost against the um, uh, enemy of enemies in this event. So right here, pretty much an ideal situation. However, you do have a lot of attacks coming in here. So, you know, just checking the rotation, seeing how things are, uh, getting ready for the agility battle coming up in a little bit. So just want to, you know, double check, make sure I do at least have a tech type coming up. Um, Trunks does have the best defense out of the group, so even though I should have put, I, I could have put one of the other two units first to, you know, take advantage of that boost to attack to allies based on the uh, super attack. Um, at this point, it's really not worth it, so we're just gonna, you know, go about it this way. So Trunks should be able to do a pretty decent amount of damage. Everybody's linked up, so they'll get a damage boost here. So yeah, 2.7 million uh, definitely uh, uh, helps out quite a bit really reduces the amount of time it takes, you know, to uh, get the HP down. So the fact that you're able to one-shot them right there definitely makes it a hell of a lot easier. And uh, got a couple of decent items left over. We'll go ahead and boost up the uh, defense uh, by 50% right here. Also recover some HP, even though um, everybody does have the type advantage. Um, because of HP levels being so low, you know, it could, it could definitely make things uh, very difficult. So the only reason why I'm putting Gogeta up front is the possibility of a counter happening. So, you know, I, I, like ideally you want to put him in the middle slot to get all the links, you know, for every unit. But at the same time, uh, you want to put him in a spot where potentially he could counter a super attack. So that's really the only reason why. And, and unfortunately, you have to sacrifice super attacks for the other two units, which is fine because... You know, at the end of the day, both of the Gokus were able to get the uh, super attack, but unfortunately Gogeta, which is honestly the, the best hitting unit out of the uh, rotation, um, gets compromised, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And unfortunately in that case, uh, Zamasu didn't super attack against Gogeta, so, and then he waits to do that against the uh, Goku unit. I mean, that's just kind of like how, how luck ends up going, but, you know, it is what it is. So not bad. I mean, the items definitely helped. Uh, 42,000 in damage taken uh, definitely made it uh, survivability a little bit more realistic. But, you know, I think we're okay. We still have a couple of items left over. We're going to go ahead and boost up the attack by 25% since all these units are linked up with the Royal Lineage. Uh, trying to get that maximum, you know, amount of attack output. Now, I did make a mistake here in, in that uh, I didn't collect as much key as I should have with the Transforming Trunks unit. Uh, that would have definitely made uh, the damage output a little bit higher, but uh, 424 should equate to a decent amount with the uh, the boost you get from the event itself. So yeah, a million is, is still okay. I mean, you've got other two other units that, that can do a very good amount of damage here. <clears throat> and I think we have about five HP bars left over, so slowly chipping away. Uh, pretty much two left over, so I think if Vegeta survives this attack, uh, Trucks should be able to finish him off here. Okay, so 51,000, have about 24,000, down to about 18,000, but I think this should take care of it right here. 
All right, so we did get the crit with 2.6 million with the KO. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely doable. It, it, honestly, it was a little bit easier than I expected it to be, but uh, nevertheless, it was definitely pretty fun. Uh, like I said, it switches things up a little bit, adds an extra layer of challenge, you know what I mean, instead of just running the best units. But, yeah, this is the uh, pretty much LR team against the uh, newest Dokkan event. For this one, it was the agility transforming Zamasu units. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. and I, I try to switch things up a little bit. So, you know, hopefully, guys, you had fun watching it. So as always, I do appreciate you watching. And uh, definitely stay tuned for the, the next video. All right, I'll check you guys later.